Uh, Bay Area Ukrainians are reacting to the president's plea to Congress. They continue to send humanitarian aid to their native country. As NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favre reports, even though they are hopeful a ceasefire will come soon, they know the need for help will continue even after the fighting stops. Fight for the life of his citizens. As the president of Ukraine pleaded with the U.S. today to implement a no-fly zone over his country to stem Russian attacks, Bay Area Ukrainians watched intently. And I think he made it very clear what it is like to be in Ukraine now. Uh, he draw analogies to Pearl Harbor. Um, I, I think it's a valid analogy. Um, and, uh, of course, what's happening in Ukraine, uh, it, it's, it's similar to that, but it's happening every day. Igor Markov is with the nonprofit Nova Ukraine, which has raised more than $8 million to provide critical supplies to the embattled country. This week, the group coordinated a team of volunteer Stanford students who flew to the Seattle area to help pack up medical supplies bound for the war zone. Markov says medical aid is desperately needed right now. Missiles and artillery shells hitting apartment buildings, fires, uh, a lot of debris, uh, many dead, including children. It's as gory as it gets. Here at Ideal Packaging in San Jose, they've also been collecting medical supplies, along with baby formula and some canned food items. We start collecting uh, donations about two weeks ago. So far, we already shipped uh, five full trucks. Igor Yazvinsky says his parents and brother are still in Ukraine, and he's worried about their safety, but committed to doing what he can to help from the Bay Area. On Monday, 26 pallets of supplies will be headed to Ukraine, but it's an expensive endeavor, costing about $50,000. In San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.